Okay, so this one is an interesting one. Uh, it says the degree sequence of a simple graph is the sequence of the degrees of the nodes in the graph in decreasing order. Which of the following sequences cannot be the degree sequence of a of any graph? And then we are given these sequences. So out here there is something called degree sequence of a simple graph. So what it is, it is saying that the degree sequence of a simple graph is the sequence of the degrees of the nodes in the graph in decreasing order. So it looks a little abstract so we'll see with an example first what a degree sequence of a simple graph is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a simple graph and I'll just take an example of my choice and then explain explain to you that what is the degree sequence okay so what we are going to do is we are going to study degree sequence first all right and then we are going to study a very important theorem called havel hakimi theorem okay and this theorem is related to the degree sequence of a graph we're going to study that theorem and first we'll see what is a degree sequence with this example so okay suppose there is an edge out here and there is an edge out here and there is an edge there is an edge 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 and edge so this is the graph and what we have to write, we have to write the sequence of the degrees of the nodes in of the graph in decreasing order. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the degrees out here like beside every vertex. Beside each vertex I'm going to write the degree of that vertex. So this vertex has a degree of 1, 2 and 3. This vertex has a degree of 2. This vertex has a degree of 4. This vertex has a degree of 1, 2 and 3 this vertex of 1 this vertex of 1 and we are left with this this one you can clearly see a degree of 2 so these are the various degrees of various nodes in this graph okay and then we are going to write them in uh, in decreasing order so so what will be the degree sequence of this graph the greatest degree is 4 so uh, let me start a little bit up because I need some space to explain it better so will we have the degree of 4 okay and then we have degree 3 and degree 3 so we can write 3 for for this one and then we can write 3 for this one because the sequence has to be decreasing okay, then we can write 2 2 1 and 1 so we can write 2 we can write 2 we can write 1 and we can write 1 and how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 vertices are there. And in this degree sequence, you can see that there are 7 terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms corresponding to each vertex. Because we are basically writing their degrees only. Okay, so that is the degree sequence. Okay, that's how you write the degree sequence. And then I said we need to talk about this important theorem called Havel Hakimi theorem so I'm not going to prove this theorem but I'm going to do I'm going to tell you how it works this theorem so in this case what you do is you choose the vertex of the maximum degree so far in your sequence so this is my sequence and the maximum degree is 4 and I, it's this vertex and what you're going to do is you're going to remove this vertex and then see what happens Okay, so this is the vertex. So when I will remove this vertex, what all edges will go? This edge will go, this edge will go, this edge will go, and this edge will go. Alright? So, what will happen? So, what sort of graph you will be left with when you remove this vertex? So, I'm going to re redraw that graph out here. So, this thing, and okay this thing so there was a there was a vertex out here which I removed and this thing and this thing and this thing okay 
and since all these edges have gone so I'm left with this edge I'm left with this edge okay so this edge is this one this edge is this one and these edges are gone which would have come here and this edge would have gone and these edges are fine okay so this is what I will be left with and my the vertex that I removed was this one okay just to show it to you that how the removal is done okay and then I'm going to delete this ah, this vertex is this edge is not complete okay so this is what you are going to be left with and what will be the degree sequence of this graph so first we'll write the degree so this is one this is one this is one this is one and this is two okay two degrees and this is again two all right so and then if I write the degree sequence what will I get out here I'll get in in the decreasing order I have to write it right so what I will get I'll write I'm going to write it here what I'll get is two comma two and then I have these four ones this is what I'm going to get and so what you can see out here is that when you remove this vertex okay and then this degree sequence will change because we have removed this vertex so this this has like a sequence had seven terms and this has only six terms because one vertex is gone so basically you have removed this and then what you have done is you have decreased the degrees of all these vertices by one why because this four was connected to two this four was connected to three this four was connected to two and this four was connected to three so basically you have decreased the next degrees of the next four terms by one that's what you always do okay because the theorem says that this will be connected to the vertex to the, the to the vertex corresponding to these four these next four terms because it is four that means it has four vertices going out and they must be connected somewhere and the vertices with which these four vertices that come out of this vertex that we removed must be connected to the next four vertices corresponding to the these next four terms that's the idea so and you can see out here so if I remove this four okay I'm gone with this four and so what I will do I'll decrease this by one okay so this is suppose this was this three and this edge is gone so I decrease this by one okay and then again this three this edge is gone I decrease this by one and then this and this so I decrease them by one and one and these one are just copied from the beginning so these are four terms because the the num the seek the degree that we have removed is four so the next four terms are decreased by one 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 and this is what you also got out here out here okay so this is just the idea of Havel Hakimi theorem and you can keep on going keep keep on going like this and you will always reduce one more degree and you can go and end up with just one vertex or I mean you can end up with a really small graph when you keep on removing these vertices and that's Havel Hakimi theorem and we will see why this theorem is important in solving this question so so far we have only seen the background to solve this question all right and then now we are going to actually solve this problem using these two ideas the idea of degree sequence and the idea of Havel Hakimi theorem okay so I'm going to rub it all first just like this and then we're going to see what happens okay let's first look at this one this one is all this one already looks quite odd so what do you see out here is that this the first one is eight the first degree is eight and how many terms are there one two three four five six seven eight okay there are eight terms so there are how many vertices so the number of vertices that you have is going to be eight because you have eight terms in all of them you have eight and what it is saying is that one of the vertices has a degree of eight is that possible the maximum degree that you can have with eight vertices with eight vertices what is the maximum degree that you can have 
the maximum degree that you can have is 7 because there are 8 vertices so this if you connect this single vertex with every other vertex you still you can have a 7 degree but you cannot have a degree of 8 so which kind of tells you that this one is eliminated this option is eliminated okay and I think I'll, I'll complete this in the next part of the video because this video is going to be too long otherwise